Uh, welcome back to my channel. Today we are discussing cardiac anatomy. So you can see the left anterior descending artery here, giving rise to the septal and the diagonal branches. The term right coronary dominance refers to when the right coronary artery gives rise to the posterior interventricular artery. Now this is the arc of the aorta, so you can be able to see the brachiocephalic trunk, the left common carotid, and the left subclavian artery. So the term left coronary dominance, this refers to when the left coronary artery gives rise to the posterior interventricular artery. You can be able to appreciate that this is the right atrium. And so the features here, you have the fossa ovalis. So this is the limbus of the fossa ovalis. You have the fossa ovalis there, the muscular pectinati, which gives you the rough part of the right atrium. And then here is what we call the crista terminalis. So we have the smooth part of the right atrium and the rough part of the right atrium divided by the crista terminalis. The structural components of the electrical conducting system of the heart. So you start from the sinoatrial node, which is at the junction of the superior vena cava and the right atrium, or the posterior medial aspect. Then you have the AV node, which is found in the triangle of Koch. Then from there you get the bundle of His, which divides it into a left bundle branch and a right bundle branch. One of the branches from the right bundle branch is what you call the moderator band. So this shows you the superior relations of the pulmonary trunk, which is the arc of the outer, and the uh, uh, li ligamentum arteriosum. So the structures that are transected by the plane at the sternal angle, uh, we start from the glandular plane, which has the thymus gland. You have the venous plane, which has the superior vena cava. We have the arterial plane, which has the arc of the outer and its branches. The nervous plane has the vagus and the phrenic. The visceral plane has the trachea and the esophagus. And then you get the uh, lymphatic plane, which has the thoracic duct. So thank you. If there is any question, you can leave it on the comment section below.